Hey guys, um, what I'm going to do in this clip is take you through the process of transferring your video files from your video camera onto uh, the Silicon Coach software and then from there demonstrate how you can use the Silicon Coach software to analyze some of your variables. So in order to do that, the first thing we need to do is create a folder on the desktop of the computer and this is where we're going to save our video files eventually. So I'm just going to call this one Pete. Once I've done that, you're going to go select the Silicon Coach icon to activate the uh, software package. And here we go, we're in Silicon Coach now. And as you can see down the left hand side, here we have all the functional tasks within the software. And the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to capture the video. So we've just been in our lab environment, we've got the footage, now we need to get it onto the computer. So I'm going to go into video capture mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find my folder that I've just created on the desktop. And there it is there. So the Pete folder. When you select it, you can see that it's empty. So what it's doing is it's waiting for your video file to go there. All right. On this side of the screen, we have a big black window. And this is good. This means that there's a connection made between the video camera and the computer. If this is blank, pretty much you just need to turn on your uh, camera and we'll reconnect the, the firewire cable to the computer. Down the bottom here, what we have is the playing capabilities of the camera. So it allows us to play the footage, rewind the footage, fast forward, so that we can get to the aspect that we would like to capture. So the capture occurs on this side. So this is where we make the file a digital file. So we're taking the footage from the camera, we're converting it to a digital file that we'll eventually save in our folder. So in order to do that, I've got to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this one Trial 1. All right. Now I'm just going to see if my footage is there. I'm going to play it quickly. Yep, it's there, which is good. So I'm going to pause, I'm going to rewind back to the start. When I get there, I'm going to press the start footage, or start capture, as you can see. I'm going to hit the start, and that will also activate the footage as well. Once your movement ends, you just click the stop, and you're good to go. Alright, so now we've got our first trial as you can see on the left and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to capture trial 2 now. So I'm just going to change the description to 2, good to go, and I'm just going to start the capture. And stop there. And now I have both my movie files which you can see on the left hand panel here. From here, the next step we need to go for is we need to set up the types of screens we want to use. So on your far left what I want you to go to is the screen setups icon and the one we're going to use mostly in this particular course is the single manual setup. When you double click it you can see it's coming over to the active bar and there's a little plus sign and what I would like you to do is just expand that and you'll see this movie clip icon. Now what it's wanting is it's wanting a movie file to go in there so in order to do that, you come over to the movies icon and we're going to go find the movie files that we just created. So we'll drag, we'll find my folder and I'm going to grab, double click trial 1. That will bring it up over here in the movie icon. Now what we do is we go right click on the screen, we're going to go play from selection. Now we're ready to analyze. You've got your play capabilities down the bottom, which will play the file, which is good. I'm going to stop it there. You can drag it back throughout anywhere in the movement. You can use your cursor keys on the keyboard to progress through the movement a step at a time, which is going to be great for later instances. All right, so pretty much now I'm going to just take you through uh, a couple of the tools. Uh, I'm going to start off firstly with the angle tool and in particular the relative angle tool or called the normal angle within silicon coach and what this allows us to do is measure for example the knee angle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the footage through to where the knee is flexed and I'm just going to select my markers and so on 
Now, as you can see, there's there's two possibilities of the way we go. I started at the distal end of the seg of the segment, and we've got the outer component of the angle there. Now, if you make a mistake, what's great is you've got an erase function here, and you just click that, and it's all gone. Now, if I select the, if I start at the um, the proximal end of this of the um, system, and I'm going to work my way through the markers, and there's my outcome. If I don't want that, I just get rid of it. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at a, um, a segment angle. I'm going to look at the phi with respect to the horizontal. So again, multiple ways you can do it. Sometimes you have to struggle to look for the numbers, but that's fine. We've got the next step. Oh, I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, another component is setting the calibration. So what we do here is you've got the set scale and you click on that, activates it, and we're going to use my calibration block that I've put in earlier. So we start at the bottom, go to the top, and then it'll bring up a box that's asking for a known distance. So in this particular case I'm just going to put in 0 0.45 and OK. Now I have calibration set. And what, how I'm going to use this is to measure the displacement of the jumper's ankle marker. So I click on here, and as you can see, it's depressed already. So we're going to click the disc, uh, discrete distance. I'm going to click it here, and I'm going to click. I'm going to click again where the person is at the full height of the jump. So I just go step through, oh, and I'm going to go there, and then I just click on my joint. And as you can see, I've got an outcome of 0.57 meters of how high the person jumped, which is pretty good. In terms of the functionality, this is pretty much everything you would ever need to know. There may be instances where you want to use the zoom function, so just click over here, and you just go highlight over points, and that will allow you to click um, aspects easier. And this is this will be beneficial for the future. Okay, so that's pretty much all the major tasks I would need you guys ever to do. There is one last thing, if you want to go to the next video file, all you need to do is just exit out of this particular presentation. You would then click on the next file, and you're good to go. Alright, all the best guys. I'll catch you another time.